And let's see. Can Galay do it? Can you do it? Sacred Sword, this guy. I got the Intimidate on him, on him though. Uh, meaning that he is at uh, neutral. What just happened? Yo, what's up guys? AFC Adino here and welcome to a new video. I'm gonna be playing this uh, team again. Uh, last game we found out that we are quite weak to Rotom. <laughs> Rotom Mush. But this is why I brought a more Spadef Life Score to the team as well. With Roost too. So we can kind of poison stall him. And yeah, if it is a defense, Like if it is a defensive Rotom, then Glade can still muscle through it a lot after Sword Stance with Sacred Sword. So that's why... Um, Killing the Rotom did not be too much of an issue. Um, Slowbro can take a Volt Switch. Uh, yeah, Rotom is definitely it's definitely an annoying one uh, to keep into account, especially if it's a Pain Split set. But yeah, then again, uh, we always try to poison him with Gliscor in that case. But that does mean that we need to activate Orb first. Um, anyway, guys, if you are interested in the team, you can check it out on Patreon. There's a Poker Pace plus team building video on this team. You can check it out there. Link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm on my way to 4.3k subscribers. I uh, would like to hit 4.5k before, before in, in the summer, in the summer at least. Uh, would be really cool if we can get it. And yeah, um... 5k before the end of the year should definitely be possible. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're almost uh, there. Gonna wait a bit. And yeah, uh, also guys, consider becoming a YouTube member. Get a cool badge. Get a cool streaming emotes. And same goes for Twitch. But uh, yeah, battle is about to start. Let's see what we'll face. I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm curious. Let's see. So we see... Quite some off. This guy's running mode of fighting, bro. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I do have Galate though. If that's book, if that if that is book up scrafty, yeah, I do have Galate. <laughs> if that's actually Dragon Dance, I might actually be screwed. <laughs> I just don't know how I should um go about this. Maybe I should just lead up with Salamence because he's running a lot of physical attackers. But I can. I can at least, um, I can at least get up my Intimidate <laughs> on this team. Because I could lead up with my Gliscor, but in case this is like fake, um, in case this is like a uh, knockoff, I want to be, I want to be sure. But yeah, I, I did Intimidate him, so I'm going to Dragon Claw here anyway. Don't rid me, brother, please. Nice, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> the heck, bro? Okay, we knocked him out. Um, I actually have to be a bit careful because... Slowbro should take you on really well. Um, I have to be a bit careful with my mans because it's the one that stops Lucario. Goes for HP Ice there. This guy is running the sets. This guy is running the sets. Um, we just go for the future side. Even Thunder Punch, I should be able to take decently well. And now I can teleport for free, so that's pretty helpful. I am clicking the teleport here. Um, even though he can... Yeah, well, he knocked me off and crit me. Oh, great. So what I'm actually going to do here, since he revealed knockoff to me, I'm going into mints. Get the intimidate off, and I am just going for the roost. Because I need some HP back to check <laughs> Lucario now that I think about it. Because <laughs> I did not got me in, Chow. Um, but he decides to swap out there. So that works out for me. I am just going to... Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, brother. Okay, um, so slow bro is less needed. I uh, still need it for Conkelder. Um, not not Conkelder, not, not brother. 
I am going into Gliscorm, um, assuming it's Hidden Power Ice Lucario. So we're just gonna go into him as he. Okay, unfortunately, he clicks Ice Punch. <laughs> when I had a slow bro, it is what it is, guys. I'm going into my Gladiator and assuming Psycho Cut knocks him out. Assuming. Basically, it's a choice banded Psycho Cut. Stab as well. Okay, uh, that's definitely gonna kill him. So, oh, it didn't. Oh shit. That is uh, a bit scary. I'm gonna go into Tar. Um, it, I poor times resist a fighting type attack with my guy. So, does he want to make that play? Yeah. I don't think I need this guy for anything. I'm gonna stealth rock here. Uh, let him sacred sword me. I'm playing Tyranitar versus a mono fighting team. So, <laughs> there's a. <laughs> There's just no way. Um, now I'm gonna go into my Salamence here, get the Intimidate on, whatever. If it's Lucario, uh, that's the best case. If it's Crafty, we can go back into Slowbro. But I still got the Intimidate off. Just to let him know, just to let him know, he goes for a bulk up. The leftovers. He isn't. Okay, I'm gonna teleport there. See, it's knock off again, and now I can go back into Gallade, hit the Sacred Sword, which is super effective. Don't care about his bulk up. And let's see. Can Gallade do it? Can you do it? Sacred Sword, this guy. I got the Intimidate on him, on him though, uh, meaning that he is at uh, neutral. What just happened? What the heck? <laughs> Why did he bring that in? Just to reset his stats? Okay, sir. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, this, is, this, is, this is... I guess it's a cool... Cool watching this, I guess. <laughs> I did. It doesn't even knock him out, bro. Because we're not adamant. Okay, so that's good to know. And obviously, the most optimal way to win this game is by going into Settlements and clicking that Dragon Claw. Just to let him know. Just to let him know. <laughs> Man, what the heck was I watching, bro? First off. This guy, he switched in Infernape on the turn Future Sign went out. Then, he switches in Lucario when he had a Dark type in versus my Gallade. Like, what are you, what was he predicting, bro? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> okay, so, the, oh, this, this is actually tough. That Rotom is going to hurt like hell. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, because I don't have Protect Lyscorn, so I need to activate Orb first. So I need to find a way to do that. I'm actually, maybe I should just lead off with my, um, with my Mens. Um, just because I can just Dragon Claw the guy, get some chip, get him in range of my, my Galate. Galate is actually useful. And that's useless. Whenever I get Glade in, I cannot use Substitute, so I just have to click Psycho Cut, I think. Because that Crowbat might have Infiltrator. But uh, I'll just Dragon Claw here. Goes into Milotic, okay. Doing 33? Come on, your max defense, bro. Okay. Um, I don't want Slow Bro to get poisoned now, though. I guess he wants to click Toxic, right? I'm gonna go into Tyranitar and use Rocks uh, regardless. I need to pressure his team. He clicks Recover straight away, so that's one Recover gone. So we need seven more. <laughs> I'm clicking Stealth Rock here, even if he has Toxic.
and I'm gonna teleport. If if Rodom comes in now, I at least get damage on him. If he clicks, um, because what I can do here is just teleport on his face. And he didn't heal Milotic, which might come in handy later when I have to click Psycho Cut versus him. And let's see, because. I am clicking. I'm, I'm clicking teleport here. If he defocks, I can end my glide score, and then um, that's a huge win. Exactly. Because, like I said, I need I needed to force a turn in which I get my poison orb activated on glide score. So now we do it, and now I can go into glide score and click toxic on Rotom. And if I can connect on this guy, it's gonna be super helpful. I'm not I'm not sure if he wants to stay in there. He may, maybe has other options, but uh, like I said, this is why I bring. Okay, guys. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck am I watching, bro? Did he did he really predict something? I'm gonna go into Mens here. So I had Willow Wisp on this defog, meaning he doesn't have recovery. Let's see if he hydros here. I'm just clicking Dragon Claw here. Doing quite a bit of damage, so he's running Bold Rotom. He clicks Volt Switch, uh, so that Rotom is quite low. So next time, because I can keep bringing in my Tyranitar for a few, um, for a few times. I did reveal Dragon Claw, so um, if this is sub sub Home Claw, uh, it doesn't really matter because I have Weavile. I I need do need to sack something then, but if if it is sub Home Claw. He, dra he drag out, which is fine. I can just uh, roost on the next one. And this should be live for too. So this is going to be on a timer. And we're just going to roost there as he clicks for rocks, which we can defog away. Running the best defogger in the game. And this is why we preferred it to the spit dev glide score. So I can actually do these kind of things. Because I can just defog here. Doesn't really matter what he brings in. He's at minus two special attack. Goes into Rotom, which is cool. I get up my defog. I am just clicking Toxic Air. Um, I don't, I don't really need to predict because his Hydro Pump could do a bit to me. But yeah, like I said, it doesn't really matter. I can't. I can roost all quite a bit on him, so I'm just gonna keep clicking Toxic here. I, I, there's literally no need for me. Like, he, he's doing 64. <laughs> so I just roost on the next one. And I'll be at full HP if he decides to switch out. Rod Rodom getting more if we want like this. I'd like, I'd like it. I like it. And he needs to hit Hydros as well. Look, I'm, I almost lost nothing there. 71. Lost a bit, I guess. It all depends on the rolls. But uh, this is what I mean. He's gonna die here. If we trade here, it wouldn't be the worst. But... Because that does mean that I, I'll be in the range of Garchomp. Uh, so, I, ideally he misses, but... This guy has been hitting all his hydros anyway, <laughs> but I want to make—I wanted to make sure his Garchomp died there. So we did. We did make sure. <laughs> and assuming Garchomp comes in to cling Draco on me, I can go into my Salamence, sack him off. Don't really need Mance for anything. He needs to cling Draco. And now I can go back into Gliscor and click Roost. Cause he did he can he doesn't do more than uh, 60 to me. So I can just go back. Just roost, roost it up, and don't die to Draco. Pretty nicely. He decides to swap into the Milotic. And yeah, this works out really well for me, because I get up my roost. And potentially my my Gliscor can even check uh, the Infernape. But yeah, my opponent is never getting up rocks anymore. 
while I still have the potential to get up rocks myself if I really want wanted to. I'm gonna go into my bro. If he decides to click Scald on me and burn me, that would be ideal. Let's see. He may burn me now. No. Okay. Uh, he decided uh, not to burn me. Which is unfortunate. Um, I don't want to give him the free Toxic just yet. I can go into Tar. Maybe he clicks Recover. Which makes sense. But maybe he wants to be poisoned as well. So he does decide to Toxic me. So I get a free turn on Tyranitar. Which means I can get up my rocks. Um, if we trade rocks, I actually think it's better for me. So I'm just going to Stealth Rock here as he clicks Recover. And he already used a few Recovers too, so it's pretty good. I'm gonna go back into slow bro. Let's see if we can bait and <laughs> Okay, goes guard jump here. Um I am really tempted to just go for the ice beam now. Uh, just to get some value here. I shouldn't die to Draco anyway. I can literally heal off on the um, I can literally heal off on the Milotic too with Slack off, but he's probably trying to get up his own rocks. So if I can hit him with Ice Beam, basically kill this. And if I decide to go for, um, because how is he going to kill my Slowbro now, right? If I decide to go for Defog now, eh, I can get up my rocks and there's nothing stopping me. So I, I will definitely look for a Defog play against my opponent. He decides to go for Crobat here. So I assume he has something like Toxic maybe. But it's fine. I get to get off my Future Side U-turns. Or maybe, oh, then he might, might doesn't have Toxic because it's... A lot of times it's U-turn taunt. I get off my future side, which is going to help. I teleport there. As he clicks Toxic on me. It was about time. And... I am tempted to just go into my Glide score. Because I can now set up what, what I... I can exactly set up what I really want to. And it's just going for the Defogger. Unless he has Defog on Crobat too. Which I don't think. Because he just showed U-turn to me. Because that would be like a strange set. He decides to click Ice Beam on me. Which is fine. Like my Glide score is a beast. See, this is this Milotic is not an issue. This is exactly the one I can get up rocks for free. So, <laughs> and he revealed this whole set too, so that's pretty helpful. So what I'll do is I'll actually go directly into Tower here, um, because if he doubles or anything, anything will take Sandstorm damage. Because I'll take this really well. And all I need Tyranitar to do anyway is to go for Stealth Rock. Because the Stealth Rock will stay up and then um, I can play really aggressively for my opponent. So I'm just going to look for it. Stealth Rocking here and he clicks Scald. I might live two Scalds. Yeah, I live two. And what I can actually do is go hard slow bro. Because I'm already poisoned so it doesn't matter. It's probably going to look to recover again. So we go slow, bro. And now we're just playing around with the future side. That's another recover. One thing that's notable, though, is the Infernape. Um, I can still lose to him, so gotta be a bit mindful with my bro, but I can just future side. Future side, recover, then teleport pretty freely against him, so low bro doing his job.
I do want to recover here, though. Like I said, um, ideally, I, I teleport there. But... Because the future side will then go off on the next turn. But I do need the HP. Like I said, it still needs to take Infernape on and maybe Crobat too. But Infernape is the most important one. Yeah, I'm not taking too much damage here. So we can just teleport there. As he goes Chansey. Perfect. Because uh, I get in my Galay there. And... I'm just clicking Sacred Sword anyway. Um, even if Crobat comes in, uh, it comes in on rocks. But I don't. I don't feel like there is any need to overpredict there. I don't want to sub just because it's, it can be infiltrator Crobat. But even if he port and resist this attack. Can literally just psycho cut there. If he brave birds me, like I, I don't need this to win. Exactly, because if he brave birds me, I I go weave up like ice shard, and if he switches out, he dies to rocks. Because my my glide score will be chancy one for one as well, but he decides to roost on me. So goodbye. Oh, Infernip comes in. Now I do want this. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go into Tar. I don't think I need Tar at this point. As he clicks Thunder Punch, so good to know that he has this. He'd be Life Orbed. And I still have my Gliscor alive too, which is uh, really cool. And I'm just clicking Super Power here. I don't want to miss a Rock Slide in case he was Nasty Plotter, whatever. I don't I don't know if he, I don't think he has it, but uh, in case he wants to get spicy. Oh! Or in case he goes, uh, I foresaw this, guys. I foresaw this. I, I foresaw this. <laughs> that really happened, bro. <laughs> Damn, man. I die here. Let's see, I'm gonna go into Weavile here. I don't need. I really don't need Weavile this at this point, but it's faster than Infernape, so I can definitely still use him. So what I'll do is I'll just go for Night Slash. I don't know if he has Mock Punch on this. I don't think he has. Oh, he actually has Mock Punch. Good to know. Because then, now I know his set is quite shitty. But he's taking all this chip. I can just go into my Glide Score. Don't have to worry about HP Ice. Because I am quite healthier. Nice to bring in the Milo Tick. But, yeah. I just literally have Slow Bro. Which completely walls his team, so I can literally just go for Slowbro, click Future Side, teleport into Gallade. Now I can actually decide to go for Substitute though if I really need to. Clicks Recover again. It's really holding on here. But I don't think I lose here. I got a lot of damage on uh, Infernape, which is cool. He can only come in a few times. He's Life Orb too. So we just, again, we just future side and then we teleport on the next turn. So I go into Glide Score. He cannot do it, kill me. Because I don't die to hit him, Power Rise, and if he does. If he if he chooses to hit to to hit Kiyomi here, guys, he is literally um, and all he has left is the Milotic, so he decides to die here, which is cool. And he he goes down, and my Gliscor can still uh, kind of wall the Milotic because he's gonna be he's on, he put himself on a timer with the play morph, so I just roost, roost a bunch. Then utilize my slow bro. I teleport slow bro, really putting in the work in this game. He 
He really puts in the work in this game. Now we're going into slow, bro. Because Scald is actually doing more damage. Tries to Scald me. Would have been much easier via a uh, Regenerator. <laughs> that thing would be insane, man. But yeah, I'm gonna feature side there. As he decides to forfeit, and we pick off this game. Let's go, boys. So, quite a long one, quite a long one. But yeah, all we needed to do was get rid of the of the Rotom, which we did with our Gliscor. I was installing him. Then um, I had to make sure that my Gliscor could live on the, um, the Garchomp. Basically, if Garchomp did go for Stealth Rock on my Salamence Switch... Uh, I still had opportunities to heal my Gliscor because I can just roost on Milotic. I can roost on Chansey. I can roost on those mons. With Gliscor, just have to force those mons in. And they will definitely come in if I bring in Weavile to click Icicle Spear on the Garchomp. So that was not really the issue. And like I said, Mance wasn't needed. It was already nice that I was able to get off Dragon Claw damage on uh, the Rotom. Which was really helpful. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. And hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.